Sand and dust storms are caused by strong winds in dry lands. Particles from these storms have a variety of shapes, sizes and chemical compositions. Finer dust particles are one of the most abundant components of the atmosphere. Their interaction with the Earth's system is complex and can have both positive and negative effects on global processes. The dust cycle includes the emission, transport and deposition of particles. Finer dust particles are transported over long distances. During this transport, dust can change the chemical composition of the air we breathe. Cloud formation can also be increased by dust in the air, causing more precipitation and more intense storms. Dust particles and their indirect effect on clouds and air chemistry affect how much energy from the sun is absorbed or reflected back into space. This changes the radiative balance of the Earth, having a heating or cooling effect. After dust is transported, it is deposited over the ocean, land and glaciers. In the ocean, mineral dust provides nutrients like iron and phosphorus to ecosystems, which boosts primary production. But it can also damage coral reefs or cause harmful algal blooms. Over land, the nutrients in dust fertilize the rainforests. But dust can also disrupt photosynthesis and damage plants and trees. Finally, dust deposited on glaciers lowers the amount of solar radiation they can reflect, which speeds up their melting. It is clear that dust has an impact on the environment and the entire Earth system. At the same time, climate change and human activities affect the dust cycle. Improved models and observations help us to better understand the links between sand and dust storms and the Earth system. This is fundamental to prepare society for the effects of climate change on dust. <laughs>